Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to if you are new here. My name is Lily and on this channel you can find all kinds of content to do with wellness like personal development and mindfulness. So today's video is going to be about personal development and is going to really kind of set who my actual audience is because I've kind of been figuring it out, figuring out what kind of topics I want to actually talk about on this channel, um, what I want this channel to be about, who my audience is. I've kind of been figuring that out over the years, if I'm honest, because I've only really been creating content. I can't even remember the year that I started creating content, but um, I think it's been about three or so years. I'm not sure. And, I, and it has kind of taken me that long to figure out what direction I want this channel to go in. And I'm still learning and I'm lo learning as I'm going, which which is exactly what I want to do because that's that's pretty much what you should do and I've kind of started to define where I want this channel to go th go in the direction and also I'm starting to define the kind of audience that I'm looking to speak to and that might relate more to the kind of content that I'm going to be putting out so it's been about a year now since I personally have started my personal development journey and I've learned a lot there's still so much to learn, but I understand that this is something that I will be doing for the rest of my life because it really is a life journey within like, you know, personal development is a life life journey and there's so many stages, especially as you come face to face with different stages in your life, like every single stage of your life, there is a personal development moment. So there's that. And in this year that I've had with personal development, I have grown as a person. Yes, that's the whole point of personal development. God, um, speaking the obvious. I've really started to do the inner work that is necessary and really starting to connect with myself, starting to understand myself, understand my behavior, the way I do things, why I do things. I really want to get to the bottom of those because it's getting to the root cause and reason as to why I behave the way I behave. So when I understand that, I can actually put a plan in place that's going to work when I'm wanting to change habits or change um, my perspective or the way that I'm perceived or the relationships that I have in my life and all of that kind of stuff. So understanding your behavior, why you do the things you do, why you think the way you think and the beliefs that you have is so important. And this journey is going to be personal for everyone. For me personally, I'm an independent person. I am the person that tends to give advice and not really seek it that often. I definitely that often if actually that's again that I'm being mod like I never seek advice from other people I would give myself excuses of you know it's because I'm independent or I like to just figure things out myself or this and that I don't and that is true I like to figure things out myself I was watching a Red Table Talks episode with um Brene Brown and that episode gave me clarity on myself a little bit. It, it basically opened up a door where I was like, oh, okay, I really need to, that's me and I really need to like look into that. And they were talking about people that tend to give advice and help others, but don't get help and don't ask for help. And how um, it's basically like where you see value, seeing that you are more valued as a person that gives help rather than receiving it and that is really true and I never saw it in that way at all and I always just thought oh I'm just the strong one because that's what people would tell me like oh you're so strong you're always okay and all this and that and I am usually like you know I'm, I'm an optimistic person but I'm not always okay but I just hate talking about the issue and I really don't like the idea of someone being like, it's okay to feel like, like, I know it's okay to feel like that. That doesn't help me. Like, <laughs> and um, I hate the whole thing of like, oh, that really, like, I can't explain it. It's, and it's also why I don't, I don't give advice like that. And all my friends can vow for this. Like, I really don't. Like, I'll be like, dude, that sucks. But what are you going to do about it? Or yeah, that's, that is shit. It's okay if you're feeling a bit down like that for now. But like, like, what are you going to do? Like, you need to do something 
about it. And I've always been in that mentality, like there's always something that can be done. That's just how I think and feel. I know that it's not gonna work for everyone and that's totally okay. Seek advice from someone that actually helps you in that way. I'm wanting to talk to, and I'm talking to people that are just like me, people who don't ever get advice from anyone else usually. They just do it by yourself. And it's not because it's like you don't think other people's advice is gonna help you, but it's kind of just like, you don't need it. Like I've always been able to just deal with things myself. And um, I've always been able to just figure it out. For me, I don't see it as like an issue. I don't see it as like, oh, I'm really down and need help. I just see it as like, I'm, I'm finding this particular thing frustrating or um, I'm not sure how to handle this part and I like to figure that out myself because I am independent and I have grown up in an entire family of that are very very independent I've grown a lot around figuring things out yourself alongside not showing your true kind of emotions or not really being able to express your emotions properly now the emotion side of things I've been working on for a while and I'm definitely getting there. There's a lot more to grow on that, but I am getting there. Whereas the seeking help and asking for help, I don't do that. <laughs> I really don't do that. I have an incredible support network around me that I know will help me if I just ask for it, but I don't. And I don't because it's just a behaviour that I have. It's a belief that I have around asking for help. And I always say there's nothing wrong with asking for help if you need help. But I just, I'm so, it's almost like I'm so used to just having to figure things out on my own and being independent in, in that aspect that it's like I don't even know how to ask for help if I need help and how I actually like to receive help because there's been times where I have asked for help or I've gone to someone for advice and it the way that I receive the advice and like the advice that's given to me is like it doesn't that's not what I was looking for so it's almost like I don't know how to ask for help in the way that I'm going to receive what I'm looking for if that makes sense and I know that there's a lot of people out there that are just like me that you know we're just used to just getting on with it and that's okay I guess but it's it's also not because we are naturally we are people that strive for connection um, nobody wants to be misunderstood nobody wants to be alone nobody wants to have no connection to other people and although I have so many people around me so many people that are willing to help me and so many people that I would consider close friends I still have a disconnect with because it's on my level though it's me personally like i don't feel a connection um i've had this conversation with jar who actually is a very close friend to me and we do grow closer every every day because every every day <laughs> we do cl grow closer because we are very similar in this way as well and this is something that we both kind of have and are both trying to develop and it's the strangest feeling and I think I feel like when I look when I look back to my whole childhood and growing up um I kind of bounced from friend group to friend group I never really felt like I had a true proper connection I had one friend at school that I was really actually very very close with loved very very dearly her whole family actually I loved she lived like around the corner from me and we just grew apart which happens in life and that's absolutely fine the friendship that I had with her is probably the most that I've ever felt connected to another person that wasn't my family and that hadn't experienced the life that I'd experienced or anything like that but just kind of got me and I just felt a connection with but other people I've genuinely felt like there's always a disconnect like even if we were close there's still a disconnect there and it's on my side like how I feel towards other relationships like I'm not truly understood or like I'm not truly they don't truly truly know me because I don't really ask for help and that is because I do see it as like, it's not a weakness, but that kind of vulnerability of being like, oh, I'm not actually as strong as everyone thinks, or um, I don't have it as together as everyone thinks, scares me. <laughs>
I've just come to kind of learn that that vulnerability is really powerful and brave and courageous and it's something that I'm definitely going to work on. I, I'm trying to figure out how I like to get help, how I like to receive help. I'm the type of person who I'm good with my feelings but I like there to be logic and like a plan. I'm a planner. <laughs> I'm a big, big planner. I like to plan things that that puts me at ease just having some sense of direction to go in. I'm a Sagittarius, like having some direction like is all that I'm about. Like I love to have direction. I don't have to stick to it, but having direction and knowing where I'm going, having a plan of where I'm going, brings me ease. So when I'm struggling with something, I think the times that I've reached out about any kind of struggle that I've, and I haven't done it often, and I think because of the times that I have done it, I haven't received the kinds of help that I personally need. It's almost like made me just not reach out anymore at all, rather than just being like, that doesn't help me, I need something else, or I, this is what I actually need. I've kind of just been like, yeah, see, that was a waste of time. Like, I tried it, it didn't work, I didn't get what I needed, I have to just do this on my own. That's kind of like how I've thought about it. And that is no one else's fault other than my own because I haven't actually been able to express express and explain how I like to receive help and how to also ask for help in the most adequate in the adequate in the right way <laughs> I, don't, I haven't been able to know how to ask for help in the right way like when I'm asking for help I might tell you how I'm feeling but I'm not I don't want to talk about how I'm feeling I want to put a plan in play to change that I don't want to faff around like oh it's okay like I'm not like that I, I hate that shit like for me it's like I know it's okay. I don't like I know it's okay. I'm 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 frustrated because I want to move forward. Like <laughs> I don't want to just sit here in this shit. Like I know it's okay. I've sat in it for a few days. I've accepted it and I'm ready to move forward now. And I know but I don't know how. So help me with the how. Um I feel like that's that's it for me and there's so many people out there that are the exact same, where it's just like, I like a plan, I love a plan, I like to know how, like, how do I do it? I don't care for, like, how I'm feeling and all this and that, because that's, like, I accept that very quickly, and I allow myself to feel the emotions as I feel them. I just love to think of it logically. Okay, like, I'm feeling this way, what am I going to do about it? That's just the way that I operate, and... Um, I don't like just sitting in something and, and not doing anything like I don't like that um, So I feel like for me I I really need to practice how how to ask for help and um, Not be afraid to tell people that the advice or the help they've given me hasn't helped And that's not what I was looking for or what not what I need at that time um, And I just kind of wanna I wanted to make this video because this is this is the stage that I'm at with my personal development and um, there's going to be people that are going to watch this uh, that are exactly like me. You are independent, you don't really need help from other people um, and you don't seek it. And I just want to say to you right now what I'm realising makes complete sense is that you will never make it on your own. You just won't. You will always need help. Every single business has a whole team infrastructure of people. There's you know, any, like any sort of retailer, for example, you don't just have one person doing everything, do you? Anything in life, you, there's never just one person doing anything because we just don't, one, we don't have enough time to do everything that we want to do. And two, no one's perfect. You're not going to know everything. So you're going to have to seek external advice, help, from people that are experts in that field. And it is really that, like, if you wanna have a relationship, you can't have a, well, you can have a relationship on your own, but you know what I mean. If you're looking for a relationship with another person, a companionship, that's two people. <laughs> like, you need to seek help for that. You can't do it on your own. There's nothing in life that you do on your own, really, other than your personal development journey. But even with your personal development journey, you should really seek external help and what i mean by external help is 
you reading books, you listening to podcasts, you tuning into masterclasses or um, events, that is getting external help. That is getting help from another human being. So it's kind of like you're not really on your own. And I just think for me personally, I truly believe that everybody wants to have human connection like we are people that are designed for that kind of connection we're not designed to be solitary and on our own and that's why everyone goes insane insane when they are in solitary confinement for example because we do crave that connection and to crave that connection it's it's working together it's feeling valued by giving value and helping but also feeling valued by receiving help and and thinking that you are you are worthy enough of that and it's not that i don't think i'm worthy of getting help but it, realistically underline it probably does come down to that because it's kind of just like i have put this expectation on myself that i'm so strong and independent and people don't expect weakness from me people don't expect me to cry in fact when new people in my life see me cry for the first time, they're really shocked because it's not a side to me that a lot of people see, that vulnerability and that emotional kind of side. And I'm actually a really emotional person, like a very emotional person. I cry at like everything, happiness, sadness, um, all of it. I, I genuinely do cry a lot. But a lot of people don't see that side of me. And in fact, most people when they first meet me and don't actually know me, find me quite intimidating. And when they get to know me and understand that actually I'm a big softy, they're genuinely quite surprised. And I feel like it's because of that, that it's, I almost, like that's why I also struggle to ask, it's, I, I just don't ask for help and feel like I need to do things on my own. But then it's because of that, that people have that it's very strange but um it is an expectation that i put on myself and it's something that i'm going to be working on because i truly understand and believe you know i want to live an extraordinary life i really do i want to i want to have it all i want to be able to travel the world i want to have that time and financial freedom and i want to have like an extraordinary life i really do i don't want to have the mundane life i want to do insane things that most people don't usually do i want to live life like and i'm not gonna achieve that success unless i become vulnerable put my walls down and actually connect with people by asking for help and receiving that help that i need and having that realization and that breakthrough is a big big moment for me and it's something that i want to help other women just like me do as well so that's who I'm going to be speaking to. I'm, I'm not going to pussyfoot around it because I always give tough love and I like a no bullshit approach. I really do. I fucking hate all that faffing about and being like, it's okay. Like, no, we know that. Like, we're at the stage where it's like, we know it's okay to feel shit. We know that the emotional side is not the issue. The issue is the plan. Like, having... Like, how do we get out of it? What's the plan? How are we moving forward? What are we doing? Like, I like to be, a pl I'm a planner and I like to have a plan and I like to have something that I can work towards to just get me through things. That's how I personally like to, to work at things because I'm very accepting of my emotions, very accepting of my emotions. I actually wear my emotions on my sleeve a bit too much sometimes. <laughs> and, um, I can express my emotions very, very well, but it's understanding how to move forward and coming up with a plan that's going to work going forward that um, I sometimes don't know. And that's what I want to help other women do, you know, just like being able to seek help um, and coming up with a plan as to like how you can do that and how to move forward and um, how to grow and the personal development that you need as an independent person who doesn't tend to seek help from other people you need to personally develop and also how to connect with people as the strong person and how to allow yourself to be vulnerable and being you know because i think it's like i am strong and i'm independent and it almost feels like a juxtaposition and an oxymoron to be a vulnerable, strong, independent person in me, like for me personally, like it's almost like I think, and it's like the self-belief that I've given myself is that you can't, 
you can't be strong and independent and be vulnerable but actually being vulnerable is so courageous and and being courageous and brave is strong it's just a different type of strength that i'm not used to and um it's definitely food for thought so i i'm gonna leave this video there i know it's a bit of a rambly one i haven't really given any tips or value in this but i just wanted to update you with where i am at the moment with my personal development i'm gonna leave a link to the video that i was discussed well that i mentioned on the red table talks video um i have actually got one of um brene brown's books i'm gonna give it a read and then i'll probably do a video in regards to what i've learned from that but um this is actually going to be a call to action to anyone in my audience right now that is watching this that relates to me in the sense that you are the independent you are the independent strong friend in the group um, and you really don't seek help from other people you actually struggle to do that because you feel like it's just you um, that can figure it out and that you like to do that and it's um, that's what you're used to this one is a call of action to you that you you need to accept that actually that disconnect that you're feeling and it and you will be feeling that disconnect not with everyone there will be certain people that you do genuinely feel like have seen you vulnerable and and know that ugly side to you but that disconnect that you feel with a lot of people that you are actually close with it's because of you and it is because that you're not you don't want to be a burden not even a burden but it's because of the expectation that you've given yourself as the strong one and because you've always figured it out and maybe the people in your life aren't as, you know, cutthroat, brutally honest, to the point, want that brutality there, like you just want to be real and realistic and put a plan in play and no bullshit. Maybe that's why you struggle because taking emotion out of a situation can be quite difficult for a lot of people. I want you to know that doing it on your own, it's not going to get you where you need to be and... If it does, it's going to take you a hell of a lot longer than if you just allow people to start seeing that side of you and understand that actually being vulnerable and asking for help and seeking help is extremely brave. You can be strong and independent and ask for help. So the call for action for you guys is to dig deep and actually understand yourself and really question why you don't ask for help and get to the bottom of that speak to your best friend about it and tell them listen i'm the strong one and i usually just like to figure things out by myself i'm, I'm gonna start coming to you with things that i'm dealing with but i just need you to listen and be an assistant for me to just brain dump almost on you and be able to come up with a plan I don't need to speak about my emotions or hear how it's okay and all this and that. I just need the no bullshit coming up with a plan. What am I going to do about it kind of help? Or, you know, just reach out to someone that you are close with but feel a disconnect because you never actually seek help from them and tell them why that is. Tell them why it is and tell them the kind of help that you want. So for me, it is like, I don't want the bullshit. Like, I just want no bullshit. I don't care about the whole emotional side of stuff. I know how to handle that side. It's the coming up with a plan and how I'm moving forward. What am I going to do about it? Um, that I tend to kind of take a lot longer to come up with and to deal with on my own whereas if I seek help and get help from someone else they might be able to actually just get me out of that a lot quicker that's the issue it's not that it's not that you can't do it on your own because you can it's more of like if you were to seek help you could probably do it a lot quicker so I urge you to reach out to that person and say how you're feeling and how they can help you and um, maybe with an issue that you might be feeling right now, going to them and talking to them about it. If the advice they give doesn't help or is not what you were looking for or seeking, tell them about that rather than being polite and being like, oh, thanks. And then per like in your subconscious, you're thinking, see, this is why I don't go for help to help other people. Like I don't go for help to other people because it's not what I actually need. Like they don't know what I need. They don't know me. Because that's the connection that I got with my head. It was like I would get help from people that I was close with and it's not the help that I needed. It's not necessarily what I was actually looking for. And rather than being like, I don't need that right now. I need this. I would kind of just be like, yeah, thanks. And then in my head be like, that's not what I needed. 
see i'm just gonna have to figure it out on my own they don't even know me my friends don't they don't know me like that i hope you enjoyed this video which is a weird thing to say but um i hope i hope this video gave you insight that's what i want to say i hope this video gave you insight as an independent person who never seeks help that's not normal and that's something you need to work on really because there's something there and dig deep and find out what that is as to why please do subscribe to my channel if you are enjoying this kind of content it really does help me out make sure to like the video too and leave a comment i'd really love to know if this is something that you're also struggling with or maybe that you've just realized from watching this video that that's you too and um i would love to connect and you know help each other on that journey to being a better version of ourselves so do leave a comment and um i'll see you next week with another video thanks guys bye